I just recently uh, went in and it, it's for a client who's disabled. And so one of the resources that I do that maybe another agent wouldn't do is I felt bad for her. And I, I just feel like she was already stressed out about even having to pack up the house. She's moving to assisted living. And I could tell she was already stressed about even having to make those decisions. I think one of the hardest things people do, it's a very emotional leaving a house you've been into for a long period of time, and then also getting rid of things that you've had for years that you don't really need, but you've had it for years and you've loved them and they have lots of memories, whatever that may be, even simple things that you can't even think of, not even just pictures, but just other stuff that you've got that you don't need anymore. So what I did was I, I told her to spend the time in the house packing up what she needed because I can't, I couldn't make that decision for her, what she really needed and what she didn't. Although I have another woman that I can recommend, Rochelle, who's helped people do that. Um, she's actually, in fact, she was amazing with one lady because she was very, very overwhelmed. Her husband had died and she was so overwhelmed with even making the decision in a huge house, what to take and what not. And Rochelle went and sat with her and really itemized and talked about each thing to keep. And my client said to me, if it wasn't for Rochelle, she thinks she would have gone nuts because she really, really helped to, her or, to organize and make those decisions. But what I tell this other client was that if she can handle getting the things that she wants packed up and leave behind what she needs, I will get rid of it for her. I can call a company. I can call people that may want to, you know, take it goodwill or whatever. She, and she said to me, she said, Joni, are you sure you really want to deal with that? And I go, I, I just know what the process is like for so many people getting out of a house, especially the emotional part and the physical part. And I am happy to, to help you in any way I can. And in this particular case, it really seemed like the best thing for me to do was to take over after she was able to get out and move to the assisted living place. And I, I, I am in the process of that actually right now. Wow, that, that. That, that's an incredible service that you and Rochelle, I guess, team up on and and get this handled for this person. That that's that's incredible. And her husband's still alive, so they can make some some decisions together.